Good morning. I want to share this dream that I had this morning. So I, it's been a long time since I've had a dream like this. So in the dream, I'm in a classroom, uh, which I believe is just symbolizing us being in the world. And then the class lets out, it's time to go home. And so I'm there with my Christian friends, Brian and Marcy, and we, um, we're like going down the road, going home, I guess. And then we're sitting on the back of what seems like a, like a hayride trailer or something like that. Just a trailer that's like, we're out in the open, like out in the elements exposed and we can see the whole sky. Okay, so I look up and I see two moons and they were just like cool and white and just kind of like how the moon would look during the day when it's like really cloudy and overcast. And I'm like, I look at my friend Brian and I'm like, oh my gosh, look, there's two moons. This is it. Jesus is about to call us up right now. And just this feeling of relief came over me so strongly that in the dream, like I felt my shoulders just like decompress. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is it. Finally, it's real. It's here. And then we look back up in the sky and I saw what I've seen in dreams before, like a long time ago. And I've heard other Christians see this in their rapture dreams as well. But now there's like multiple moons just all over the sky. I want to say like 10 or 12 or so of them just like peppered, like one here and then one over there and then one over here and then over there, just randomly dispersed all over the sky. And I want to say they even could have been like planets or stars or just some other type of celestial body and I, I want to say they were very 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 slightly smaller than the two moons maybe they were very dim as well I am um, the way I always see these objects in these dreams the best way I can describe it is dim it's just like there's something like there's a light switched off or something in it I don't really know how to describe that but that's what I saw. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is it. Like Jesus is coming right now. So uh, that's the dream that I had. And I know, I know that that was from God because I have been seeking him like never before lately. And it's obvious anyway that um, it's time for us to go because everything in the world is just like destruction, chaos, war, rumors of war just darkness and evil everywhere um it's just time for us to go and even if it's not like today or tomorrow it's it's obviously very 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 soon so um and then i just wanted to end by giving god thanks and praise because i'm feeling better you guys <clears throat> yesterday i was crawling to the bathroom that was like 10 feet away and today I just have energy to boot. So praise God for that. Thank you to everybody that's been praying for me. My issue um, is just very low, like extremely low vitamin D, which I've dealt with before. And actually that's what brought me to Jesus. Uh, but anyway, also I wanted to share. So our friend Andrea on here who... Um, who I've been mentioning lately. She lives in Florida and she lives just a little bit outside of Tampa, about 40 minutes or so, I believe. And um, she decided to stay put. She did not feel led to evacuate or anything like that. She was not in an evacuation zone. She lives inland. Um, but she, you know, was still in the elements and had to deal with like the high winds, which last time I checked, I think they said that the winds were up to like 100 miles an hour which is crazy to me and she just slept through it you guys <laughs> but anyway she she made a community post this morning where she went outside to just kind of assess the damage or her property and you guys in her yard a sign had blown and it said Jesus is coming and that was just crazy to me so between that my dream, I, I haven't dreamt anything in a long time, especially not two moons or rapture or anything like that. So I'm just super excited. I know this is the Holy Spirit encouraging us because it's time. So, all right, I'm going to end this here and um, 
I'll be back if he gives me anything else to share, but stay encouraged, you guys. I think we're right at the end, finally. All right, bye.